Unlike us humans, we can express how tired we are and when it's a perfect day for recharging our batteries. Dogs can't just express these things through words. But instead, some dogs tell you they want to rest and recharge their energy by rolling themselves up in a blanket. I know that you are thinking about how adorable that looks. Well, we agree with you. There is nothing much cuter than your dog peeking out being cozy and calm from underneath a blanket after they wrap around their body with their favorite blankie. Though this is not an inborn thing, you can try and train your dog to roll up in a blanket not just to be adorable but also as a way for them to say when it is time to go to bed and rest. Once you have taught your fur baby about this fun trick, they will most probably enjoy doing it. 1. Because who does not want to be all cozy and comfortable underneath a blanket, right? But also, too, your fur buddy will most likely start to use it as a way to communicate to their paw parent if it is time to call it a day or if they will be taking a power nap. Having your fur baby learn this adorable and fun trick would also impress guests how smart they will think of your fur baby. If you do not have experience training your fur buddy, worry not because we have got you covered. Of course, your dog will need to know and be familiar with a series of basic commands first before actually learning to roll up in a blanket. You can include a lot of commands as part of their training, but the most important command that your fur baby has to know and be familiar with is how to sit. The words, down, take it, and, roll, are commands that may also help them to learn how to roll up in a blanket faster. Having all four of these commands mastered by your fur baby before actually stitching them together into one command to pull up in a blanket will make their training easier as well. The first thing you have to do is to teach these four commands individually and then piece them together into one cute trick to teach your fur baby to roll up in a blanket. To start off training your dog with this trick, you obviously will need a blanket that you are willing to have your dog lay on and roll in. You will also need a lot of treats as this will help your training sessions be easier and more rewarding for your fur baby. You will also need a lot of patience as it is important not to rush your fur baby and just take things one step at a time. Train the four initial commands first, be patient and take them one at a time before moving into the next word. There are three methods that dog trainers suggest, but we will only be focusing on one today. Remember, take it one step at a time. It is very important to be consistent with the method that you will be using to avoid confusing your fur baby. We will be discussing the steps of the pickup method for now and the following are the steps on how to achieve the mentioned trick. Start your fur baby's training to pick up an object off the floor using their mouth. To do this, you can start with a toy that is covered with peanut butter. Place the object on the ground and try to encourage your dog to pick it up instead of just licking the peanut butter out of the toy. You may need to put it in his mouth at the start of your training to help your fur baby get and learn the trick. A little help from their paw parent can motivate these fur buddies to pick up the object, so might as well give a hand as a head start. It would make our day if you would subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss new videos and can learn more about dogs. Once your fur baby has started to pick up objects off the ground using their mouth, begin to use the take it command. Keep practicing using this command until your dog has picked the objects up off the floor by the command each time you ask your fur baby to do so. The next step is to have your dog do the rollover on command. Have your dog lay down and lure him onto his side, then onto his back, his other side, all with using a treat to encourage them. Teaching them the rollover trick is the key to a cozy blankie bonding. As we have mentioned earlier, treats would be of great help in encouraging your fur baby to learn these tricks. Treat your fur baby for every step they do well. This might mean that your dog gets a treat both when he rolls over to his back and when he gets to the other side. Dogs who roll from one side to the other quickly can be treated once they have completed the full roll. Make this rolling motion a command. 
Continue to train your dog to roll, so that they can not only roll from side to side but also across a room. This could imply that your pup needs to complete one or more rotations in their roll to be successful. Remember, your goal is to convince your buddy to wrap himself in a blanket. Rolling your dog over while lying on the blanket you want him to roll up in is a good exercise. Make careful to give him a treat every time he rolls. Encourage him to roll over the blanket several times, expecting him to make it across. When your dog is lying down, tuck the blanket between his front paws. Make use of the commands that you and your dog have worked on together. Ask your dog to take it, with the blanket bunched up between his front paws, anticipating him to take the bunch of blankets in his mouth, and then ask him to roll. He should roll across the entire blanket, bringing whatever is in his mouth with him and causing the blanket to wrap around him. Continue repeating these steps by having your dog take the blanket in his mouth and rolling himself across the blanket, causing the blanket to roll with him around his body, using the take it command. Create a new command to encourage your dog to roll up in the blanket once the two actions, take it, and roll, are blended together. You can do this by having your pup practice, taking it, with other things, and rolling, without the blanket. When you tell your dog to roll in your blanket, they should take the blanket in their teeth and roll across it, wrapping it around their fur body. Thanks for watching the video. Do you want to be a good pack leader and stop your dog's behavioral problems for good? Check out the first link in the description and get your dog training video series absolutely free. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more dog-related content. See you next time!